Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat tool for hosting online brainstorming sessions. It's called Brainstormer. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So you go to brainstormer.online and just go ahead and hit set up brainstorm. And let's put in our problem to solve. Let's say, you know, we want to improve water quality in our community. Now, the name, well, that's just my name. So if I'm doing it with my friends, I might say Richard. If I'm doing this with my students, I might say Mr. Byrne. Now, let's create that brainstorm. And here's what I have to do. Just simply copy the link for my brainstorm session, which is right there. Now, you can also do this share link function right here or this share link function. And let's set our brainstorm duration. Maybe we'll have it go for just five minutes or as long as 30 minutes. Now let's grab that share link one more time there and we'll start our brainstorm session. Now, anybody who has that link can join in. So let's take a look and see how it appears to somebody joining the session. So that person will grab that link okay, and they can put in their name, say Mason, and say, encourage people to take shorter showers. And he's now going to add his idea. And he can add another one if he wants. Let's say, Encourage people to recycle wastewater and add that one in. Now, he can see there that he's added two ideas and there's about four minutes left in this brainstorm session. Now, anybody else can also come in and use that same link and join the brainstorm session. It would look the exact same way. Different person can come along and we'll call this person Bob. Sets a name and he's gonna add in his thought and say something along the lines of, um, yeah. encourage people to ration water during the summer. And add his idea right in there as well. Now, when the session is over, we can go to voting and we'll see all the ideas are right there on the screen and people can vote for their favorite ideas. So you can simply go ahead and say, I want to vote for this one here. And boom, there it is. And vote on that idea. And then hit done and I've submitted my votes. Now when we're done, we'll say finish voting for everyone and we'll see the top votes mm -hmm. automatic, top ideas automatically sorted to the beginning, which we can then save as a PDF or email out to our friends. So that's brainstormer.online. As you saw, no registration of any kind is required in order to host an online brainstorming session. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.